in the book Power Plays, um, uh, Peter Smlanich and I are looking at a very complex issue on um, classroom management, an issue that's been around for probably thousands of years. If you talk to the parents back then, we would probably get that same answer. Um, when we look at the issue of classroom management, it tends to break into two areas, sort of the more sort of behaviorist or positive domain and the more humanist domain. And this book focuses more on the, the humanist approach to, to classroom management. But it's not an either-or issue. If you ask somebody, um, what's a better tool, a hammer or a saw, the wise person's going to say, well, what do you want to do? Well, I want to cut wood. Well, then use a saw. It's the same thing here. When you have kids that that are really um, struggling in a more severe way, the, the behaviorist approach is sometimes the only approach. That said, if you don't at some point weave in a more humanist approach, the issue of transfer becomes more complex. So this book um, is looking at that complexity, but again with a focus on that hum humanist um, element. The book divides into sort of two components. Um, one is more of a, how do we respond to students when they misbehave, and the other is how do we increase the chances that kids don't misbehave in the first place? How do we encourage appropriate behavior? Um, looking a lot through the instructional pieces. So um, the book and the ideas in the book have been gleaned from years of, of, of work that Peter and I have done in classrooms. Um, I continue to teach in classrooms, kindergarten, grade 12. And, and both Peter and I are, are continually trying to find um, a, a deeper grasp, a deeper understanding of, of how kids misbehave. So uh, we really hope you enjoy the book.